One of the first things that I like to do with the people that I work with when they're having some neck pain is practice reaching all the way up with their chin to the sky, trying to feel that stretch through the front of their throat and then bury their chin down into their neck, almost looking down into your heart. You can repeat this doing 10 repetitions or five up, five down, very slow and controlled. And when you're doing this, you really are going to feel a stretch and maybe even a little bit of pain and discomfort through the back of your neck and potentially even the front of your neck and your throat area too. It's a very large range of motion that not a lot of us are used to doing. And this will warm up your neck for the next exercise. So the next one we're gonna do is actually a side to side rotation. Side to side. When you're doing this, you're thinking about not tilting your head quite yet. We're gonna do that in a second, but you're just almost looking straight ahead and then you're on a pivot. You're thinking like an owl and you're not pushing your neck too far on each side. You're actually just going as far as you comfortably can until you feel kind of a hold. And then you're going to go to the other side. You might notice that one side goes a little bit further than the other one. That's totally okay. Go as far as you comfortably can. Both directions, again, five on each side or 10 total. Last one you're gonna do is head tilts or side to side uh, head nods. This one involves you bringing the same side ear to the same side shoulder. Again, you're gonna feel the stretch on one side. Once you feel that gentle stretch, go to the other side, back and forth here. This is really gonna warm up that neck. Again, five on each side, 10 in total. You can do all those in succession. They don't really take too much umph out of you. They're actually pretty easy to do. And then the last one we're gonna do as a warm up is just kind of putting them all together with our neck rolls. So pick either direction. Do five on one side, go ahead and flip, five on the other side, go ahead and flip. If you did three sets of that every single day, when you wake up in the middle of the day, and maybe when you go to bed, you're already going to be feeling better with neck pain. But I'm gonna show you a couple more variations that'll allow you to boost your neck strength even more. The next one is going to be chin tuck. So this one involves you bringing your chin straight back into your neck and then slowly bringing it forward. Okay, so you're tucking bringing it back, trying to create that double chin, and then you're pushing it far forward, so you're extending your neck, and then you're flexing your neck. You're doing both positions, I'll show you from the side. So, chin tuck, go all the way out. So you're thinking, really, really exaggerated good posture here. Really, really exaggerated bad posture. You're gonna pump this back and forth. Again, five each direction, or 10 in total, excuse me. Once you've done that, you can actually add a little bit of weight to this, this so. is going to be very intense for people um, but if you are able to really handle those first few without pain this is going to be a way to really really boost your neck strength and mobility you can do this exercise i'm going to show you without weight as well but i'm going to show you with weight first just because i kind of feel like it. Yeah, i don't know we'll go reverse order today so this chair doesn't have a back on it but normally if you had a back on your chair you'd be able to lean back in your chair so make sure you have a chair with a back bad demonstration here but this one was comfortable and ready for me and then basically this weight you're gonna put kind of on the top of your neck okay and then if you're leaning back in the chair you'll notice already there's gonna get a nice stretch on the back of your neck um, or a little bit of compression actually on the back of your neck and a stretch through the front of your throat and then from there you're just gonna do repetitions where you're going all the way back all the way up nice and carefully back and you're kind of actually strengthening and stretching the front of your neck in this position through a very deep range of motion. You can do the opposite movement too by looking down, letting that weight pull your head down, get a gentle stretch, and then you're going to look up. Let that weight pull your head down, and then look up. Five on each direction, just like we talked about before. Ten in total. You can, of course, do that same drill, looking all the way back and up all the way back and up without weight just like i described either of them are going to work but over time if you progress to adding weight to this it's of course going to strengthen those muscles even more and the more weight you add to it the more stretch there's going to be too so your mobility is going to improve take these day by day all of them can work but even just a few of them will work